Fox Toast. Yay! Look at this. All these things to sniff and smell. <laughs> I feel very Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, right here, right now. This is the protected part. Oh, this is the protect. Yeah. So this is an old, the old forest. Yeah. And then from that bit upwards is the the new bit. The, yeah. in, or the logging. The controlled yeah. forest. Yeah, you can really tell the difference. <laughs> wow. And toast. Did you enjoy that little walk? I knit this, um, this is two strands of DK weight knit together and it is 100% wool um, infused with lanolin. I bought it from Apple Oak Fibre Works and it's working. I haven't had to lanolize it before starting. I used a pattern called the Curly Whirly um, Soaker pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and it has this cute little design up here with the um, with the um, uh, ribbing and also includes um, short rows which I find really good for, is for up the back having a little bit more space in the back and I did the ribbed um, here and I just want to see if it's because she's actually almost this is the newborn size and she is growing so fast <laughs> I know I know so so underneath this nappy is a um, it's a pre-fold which I had folded into a kite shape and um, folded like this with a little snappy. Whoop. 
like that. So that's what's on underneath it. And I'm going to check how wet it is because outside here feels dry. And then underneath here just feels like a little bit, damp, like the slightest bit damp, but like mostly it just feels like condensation almost, but it's, there's no leakage through the clothes are dry. Amazing. So this is the uh, the um, pre-fold underneath and it is wet, soaking, soaked through. This um, is the inside of the wool soaker and it is a tiny bit damp. I'm just gonna hang it up and let it air dry. Um, I know that probably sounds gross, but wool is antibacterial and antifungal. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily need to be washed, it just needs to be dried. And baby, we is really... <laughs> Not that gross. For them as well, my eye tabby cast with Anya. That's kind of one of the things I want to do this weekend. I think I'm going to knit them a ruffle dress and maybe a pullover to do in. Hello. From my bed. Um, I wanted to do a little update just to let you know how we've been getting on. Uh, since I finished those quilts, I've kind of uh, eased right back off on the crafting. I feel like I probably just did too much, uh, but I just set a deadline and I needed to get it done, if you know what I mean. Um, we've also been going through a little bit of a developmental leap. She's starting to smile now. So, um, but yeah, it was a little bit of a busy few days. And um, we also had a few appointments to go to and stuff like that. So, lots of busy days and um but now i thought i'd just let you know what i really wanted to talk to you about um the kind of the stuff that i've been watching while i've been like nap trapped under her which i'm loving by the way every minute of it <laughs> um but it's mostly uh lovely asian ladies doing farming and things from scratch obsessed um but so uh, someone i've been watching and probably the first person to really do it was probably the ziki and she she's been doing it for quite a long time what i didn't know is that other lovely asian ladies have been popping up and starting to do it as well delighted because liziki like her videos take like the whole year to make because she does the whole growing season and then makes the food so obviously they take a long long time to make and um so i'm very much enjoying the other the other people who are doing it um so i'm very much enjoying them but one that i then found was a vietnamese lady who li who's living in germany and um i think i love it because there's no speaking like it's just lovely music and the sound of her going about her day with her with her little family uh and it, it she's got like a million followers or a million and a half followers this this video that i'm looking at right now is 5.2 million views it's just so nice and her account is her 86 meters squared so her uh gap uh space 86 the number is m2 and if you know about her, fabulous. If you don't, you're in for a treat. But um, yeah, so I'm currently obsessed with those sort of um, real chilled out, um, slow living sort of gardening, cooking, crafty type videos at the moment. And I really appreciate you slowing down. I really am. It's lovely. I'm also in the process of making my second soaker pattern, which seems massive, but the other one seemed massive and it's actually, she's outgrowing it already. So I first knit the curly pearly soaker pattern, um, the small version, the newborn pattern, and it's got this kind of cute ribbing detail. Awesome. And it has some short rows at the back for um, cloth nappies and big bumps. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm at the section where I've split for the legs and I'm just um, shaping the bottom. I think I've just hit the number that I need. 
So I need to go back up and do the front section. So that's what I'm at. James's parents have arrived for the weekend. So we're going to do some, we're going to have a barbecue. We're going to go for a little walk. And then tomorrow we've got a little party, like a housewarming party for my friend. And then we might slip out to Craig and Owen, which I don't know if you've been on this channel for a while, uh, you'll know that every summer, every autumn, I think it's like the last Sunday in August, um, we have a spinning day, a National Textile Spinning Day. It's part of Heritage Week in Ireland and we spin either in an old um, uh, an old Cranog, which is an old fort built on the water or in the ring fort or in the castle, depending on the weather. If it's, if it's raining, we'll be spinning in the castle. That's my plan for the weekend. Um, but I need to get up now and have something to eat make something for lunch no idea what although all these lovely asian ladies have um a lot of them are chinese korean and this girl is vietnamese now and i really want those vietnamese rolls that she's always making But I don't think we have the rice wrappers. Damn. Yeah, that's the problem with all of these kind of from scratch people. You then have to make it from scratch. Um, but it's really given me a lot of information about my garden. So the garden, I've got lots of plans for it. I need to look up uh, no dig and raised beds. Can you do raised beds with no dig? Not really, can you? No, not really. Anyway, we might do some raised beds. We might do some no dig. Um, we do have to dig though. To We do have to get a lot of the old kind of ornamental plants out of the way because I do want to put in some edible edibles uh, next year. I'm looking out the window and then I saw herself is after she like handmade all of her raised beds by like weaving willow branches. And I was like, I could do I mean, I could, but do I want to? I could just nail bits of wood together as well. <laughs> yeah, because you an awful lot of uh, notions. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so just put some water on it. Like it just runs off it. It's the weirdest. Plastic. It's like it's plastic. And take it out. Nothing. Like barely anything. Put a, put a flash. Like all of those little water droplets are just on yet. It's crazy. Excellent for wee wee. Yes. <laughs> That's good for poo poo. Okay, it's been like a full twelve hours. Let's see how we did. I'm, I'm not feeling any dampness at all, especially in the back here, which is normally where. We would get it. And nothing out of the legs. Nothing at all. These little ribbed edges are so good. And there's no um like sock marks or anything. And there's no rashes or anything like that. Yes. So this is the inside of it. The the diaper on the inside was completely soaked. Um but it wasn't, well, it wasn't completely so. It actually, this probably helped wicking away some. Now, it is slightly tacky, but, like, it's not soaking wet. You know, like, honestly, I'm just going to air dry this. It doesn't even smell like wee. It just smells like wool and lanolin. Um, it doesn't smell like wee. I, it's magical. Absolutely magical. So, I have finished the the body, <laughs> the, the bottom, <laughs> the arse of the um, second class nappy. This is the medium size and uh, of the lovely, um, what is it called again? Curly Whirly Soaker Pattern. And I am, um, you start off with small needle sizes, three times smaller 
than the uh, body size uh, needle to get your gauge in the pattern. And then you increase a needle size a little bit here and then you go up to the biggest size here. So you do need a couple of different needle sizes, three, um, about two sizes apart each time. So there's quite a significant difference in the uh, gauge up here and the gauge here. You've also got your ribbing, which pulls in. Um, so it gives it a nice um, snug fit up top. Um, it's also got this really cute little pattern here in the ribbing. Um, which is lovely. Um, then at the back is, uh, you've got a couple of short rows actually. And I added in another one because in my previous, uh, my previous diaper, which is there airing, <laughs> um, it's just, it's uh, not quite high enough um, for the little bum. So I've added in an extra short row. I think they say add three, but I actually added four. So um, just to kind of, you can see where it's kind of coming up here. And I think I added another one. Yeah, I added another one down here somewhere. I can't, I can't remember. Um, yeah. So now I, um, I have two little balls and I'm actually, I'm actually knitting two at a time just to make it kind of go a bit faster. I'm this is, D, this is DK weight yarn and I am holding two strands of DK weight yarn together to make an iron weight ish give or take and uh, yeah it's coming up really really nice um, I've managed to get a small and a medium size out of two balls of 100 gram um, wool the wool is 100% um, wool with uh, I don't know the breed it's not merino um, but it's, it's got lanolin, in, it's lanolin infused. Um, so it's already been lanolized. So it's kind of, it kind of feels tacky and a little bit cooler than normal yarn. Um, and I got it from Apple Oak Fiberworks. I don't know if I've said that 15,000 times already, but anyway. And then at the bottom here, you Kitchener stitch it as well. So yes, I'm astounded at how well these work, by the way astounded so i need to get a um a smaller pair of needles what are these fours are they four millimeters oh, that'll be us size six i'm gonna go i'm going with this um because i have a long cable and what i'm gonna do is two at a time and i'm gonna pick up the stitches around both legs and uh, knit two at a time or i might knit one at a time <laughs> it doesn't take long you need maybe like I put um 10 rows of ripping uh the pattern has a, a couple of different well a, a different um edge the pattern is also free by the way so feel free to head over and use that it's great uh yeah so I think I used I did 10 rows of ripping and just the same ribbing as here it's not twisted st twisted ribbing or anything the, the normal ribbing is fine um I might check. I don't even know if the pattern actually tells you how many stitches to pick up on the legs. Um, but yeah, really helps uh, have a nice um, snug leg to avoid leaks in the night. These are actually great night nappies um, because they really don't leak. They don't let anything out. When did that happen? I was going to be beholding. <laughs> I might go back in with some yarn and uh, just fill in that just so we don't get any accidents. Um, this might be a little big, um, but obviously not for long. Like she will grow into it, uh, but I might. Um, and if you wanted to, if you did find that it was big, you could felt it down to the size, but they, they do grow. These babies, they grow fast. So it's probably handy. I, I still haven't figured out the exact number of cloth nappies I need um, of wool wool covers that I need uh, I think I definitely need more than two with uh, the yarn that I have I think I'll definitely get four um yeah so I'll definitely get four I got a small a small one and a medium one and I'll definitely have enough yarn to start the third one and I have two more balls of 100 grams so I have 200 grams more 
Um, so I'll definitely be able to get two more uh, nappies. So basically 100 grams will give you a nappy, which is great. It's good to know. 